his women and his puns. I swear he's getting stupid with them. I'm just trying to achieve something he isn't getting anywhere with. I don't see what you mean by puns, because I'm literally looking at the text and all it says is goddamn speakers, I swear, is... Listen, I'm bored, okay? I need something to do. What's supposed to be so funny about that? And what's supposed to make it such a pun? Just look closely here. Look how he's written it for a start. And not to mention I saw him with a bunch of wood earlier. So, does that not ring any blooming bells? If not, then I think you need repairs. Uh, oh my god, oh no! No! That's awful! That is like the worst joke he's ever told! Man! And I thought lots of Freddy's jokes were bad. Even worse than not. Gee! That is terrible! Extremely terrible for a joke. God, I think he needs to go to a fucking comedy school. <laughs> Cause I can't take this. <laughs> yeah, that is actually quite good. Mind you though, he does need to go to a comedy school. But your fucking murderers have been said that to his face. <laughs> anyway, hello people. I am Yendo, and I am basically doing this again. Woohoo. And I am joined by none other than... Well, myself. Hello guys, I'm Funtime Foxy, and I am joining Yendo in the chat room. Yendo, you didn't need to make it look so dramatic. I'm aware of my presence in this room. Did this really become necessary? Yes, it was very, very necessary. It's your showtime protocol, so I thought I would go for a little introduction. And mind you, I don't see the point of it. That's why I was a little bit so dramatic. I think that to yourself. Shut up! <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, I'm done bullying you for now. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I've got quite a few things I've got to do. Basically, the whole shenanigans is going on. I, well, I say myself, but Foxy snuck off to the wheel, and by the time I went to the room, I saw that it was me and him. Basically, I don't know we're doing this. I don't really blame him. I don't think I need him to know. Because the last thing I need is him killing us. So, we're doing this while we wait for our chances to be available. And then, we put it on the wheel. He just has to put a fucking pun up on the ball, so I don't think he, like, not noticed us. Or, like, didn't know we were going to be coming in here. Because he did see them coming. Wait, no, no, Mario just realised, yes, he did see us. He literally showed up on the moment that we all selected the two individuals. And basically, he just rose in the end. That's technically what he did. So, anyway, Foxy. I've been doing for the past few years because I've basically not been around and not even seen you in God knows how long. That cool off a glitch trap. Anyway, you might as well tell me that you uh, tell you something. Very convenient check timing considering like you were not there for who knows how long, like you said. But like I said, let's just say a few things went wrong with one of the chat rooms at one point. Lot of it was once possessed by a glitch trap who then ended up kidnapping me while I was in the room with them both, actually. So, I had spent who knows how long trying to configure everything to try and arrange some kind of deal with Glitchtrap in order to get me and Lolbit back. It was quite a very traumatizing experience. <sighs> I'd rather not remember that whole experience. It, it just wasn't worth remembering. It was just horrible. I see. Alright, let's probably not think about that then, shall we? Right, there's a lot of things that need to be done. I heard you talk by journaling at one point as she gave me a few little tactics. I'd like to see your skill for myself, if you don't mind. Um, alright. Let me just go get the juggling ball. 
Alright, Chief. Okay. I've done quite a bit with three juggling balls. I've shown this one tattoo for ages and I'm trying to get it to explain to everyone else. Okay, no need for research. Alright. And one, two, three, four. Huh? Ah, yeah, she was. 